Right, it's my mum's birthday today. If she was alive, she'd be 102. And uh, I've decided to come out for a walk. I don't always remember her birthday, but there are times when I do remember it. So, uh, I'm up, up, uphill. I'm going to end up down on the beach eventually, walking back, looking for shells. A few surfers out there. Don't know what you call them exactly. They're surfers with sails. But here we go. We, this church is never open. It's only on a Sunday, I think, it opens. close. I must come up here on a Sunday. It's, a, it's got a lot of history, this church. Perch right on the edge. Probably a, a victim of a tsunami uh, three hundred years ago. Over three hundred years ago now. We're due for another one. There's an inactive volcano off the coast of Ireland. Doesn't mean it can't become active again. This is uphill here. My sister Barbara used to live somewhere within view of this hill in an old cottage in the past. Could have been one of those down there when she first got married. She used to watch us rolling down the hill. We were quite close. I think it was that one or it could have been the ones just behind there. Don't know she would know. Here we've got uh, Breen down up in front there. I have been around this graveyard before, this isn't new. I've got it on other videos. But I haven't videoed the inside because it's always closed. Apart from Sundays, I believe. There we go, my sister Val lives in one of the cottages right over by the foot of the down there. There's the farm, and then they've got the cottages further round. She lives there, Bill. And I'm going to do a walk back, back round there by the marine lake, and all back down along the beach there. Should get back in time for dinner. I've had a terrible cold this week. I haven't had one for a long time, but I've had certain medicines that have been killing off the good bugs, um, making me prone to germs. I'm not on them now, so hopefully I can build up my resistance again. Because I've got the family tree trip coming up. Just waiting for the opportunity to get the van. We've had horrendous floods in Somerset, southwest. Berkshire, all over, really bad floods. Worse recorded for a long, long time. Which has um, made roads and rails inoperable. So if a camper van came up in Totnes, which has, I can't just get down there. Yes, it's always padlocked this place now. It remains a consecrated building though. I reckon it opens on Sundays, so I'm not sure. It does open now and again. I'd love to be able to get in there. I haven't been in there for a long time. Years actually, since I've been able to get in there. Yeah, I'm just making the opportunity of a bit of sunshine and break from the rain because um, you never know when it's gonna come back. Walking around that way. I've got the 
gloves, but I think I'll be all right. I think I'll be all right. I usually get wet and in the way when I'm picking up shells, anyhow. There's the beacon over there, the tower, wherever they light the beacon when it's the Queen's Jubilees or birthdays or very special occasions, they light the beacon. It's always very blowy up there. Like I said, I have done um, scanning of this graveyard. Of course, I can't remember anything. But uh, it's got lots of features about it. An old sundial there, for example. That's a sundial. There's the um, cross of uh, the um, Crusaders. Yeah, and this is perched right on the edge. If it were to be a big flood again, more of this could go. Yeah, you can't see much flood in this side of Somerset, must admit, it's further over the other side of those, much further over the big floodings occurred. Parts of Somerset have been protected, in fact a lot of it has. Like a lot of people, we've been stuck in. Um, it's been too windy for cycling, too wet really for going anywhere. I've got waterproof trousers in my bag. Um, I've got my hat, I've got, I've got the gloves. Very unusual for me to forget gloves, but I don't feel cold. It isn't that sort of day, so I think I'm fortunate really. Something I really never forget and I didn't even put them in the bag. I was watching the curling, the Olympics in Sochi in Russia. The curling, um, the girls team were doing quite well and when I left they were ahead with the possibility of winning a bronze medal. But I thought I can't wait, there'll be another hour of that. So when I get back I'll know if they've won or not. There's the British flag, look. I need a new one but of course if Scotland do go independent, the flag might change, you see, so maybe they're not going to bother putting another one up yet. I'll just go over to the tower, it might be open, I'm going that way anyway. Little features there, like little steps where you can climb onto your horse, you see, up there and then you get on your horse. A functional. That was a functional thing that was. Yes. I'm doing a few little videos. I haven't started my family tree trip yet, so... Still doing the old video. I'm doing... Really, I, it's a recycle because... Um,
the sun will leave it. I just go up and see if it's locked. They do look at it on occasions. It'll be extremely blowy up the top. Extremely blowy. <sighs> Over that way, watch a cheddar. I can see Gustomry Tour. On the end of my finger, Glastonbury Tor. No floods this side. A few wet fields. They look a bit damp. Not so blurry as I thought. Look at that British gas written on there. That's the beacon, and they light a fire in there when uh, special celebrations.